If you have weak knees or maybe even weak ankles, this flow of movements is for you. Coach Austin with Hyper Strength and Conditioning here in San Jose, California. And today I'm going, to be, I'm going to be going over three simple movements that you can do every day, before a leg day, after a leg day, before work, after a long day, before a run, whatever. You see where I'm going here? Uh, but body movement, you don't need much equipment other than a wall. Found a wall. It's pretty hard to find, but found it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over tip raises, we're gonna go over calf raises, and then we're gonna go over Patrick's step. And these movements uh, put together by uh, the fellow coaches there at ATG, and I'm actually going over, going over the curriculum myself. And it's great, it's awesome. And I wanted to share this with you because I learned by coaching. Uh, so with this, people in general don't really do this. So I'm just gonna go over this movement and the importance of it. You're gonna lean against this wall. You're gonna have your hand up your legs out here, all right? You can have your hand right here, you can go like this. What you're gonna do is your feet's flat, legs are out, and you're basically raising your feet up. You're, you're, we call this tib raises because we're working the tibialis and tibia. But these muscles too, if you have shin splints, if you have, you always complain about shin splints, I'm actually adding this to the program for my football players next season because they complained a lot about shin splints. And so this is one way to help strengthen this, strengthen the, this musculature. It will also help support the knee and strengthen the knee. Everyone tries to, to treat the symptoms, but there's a cause, and, and sometimes we don't really work on strengthening the muscles that surround the joints, all right? So tip raises right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do a set of 20. I can do all 20, but right here, head back, arms right, or legs right here, and you just wanna work your way up, you want to go up to 90, or as much as high as you can, and then come down slow, and come up again. I mean, don't be like, don't do this, all right? So come up, good tempo, come down, that's one, come up, good tempo, down, that's two. And you're going to work your way up to 20, all right? Just like this, all right? And after you do this, the second movement is calf raises, all right? Because we're going to work more of the calves, but also muscles along the calf. All right, there's muscle along here that we're gonna help because now you got the blood going, moving and grooving, you can get the calves going. You don't need much weight. You need to get, go ahead, put your hands on the wall, right here. Bring your pelvis through. And you're just gonna go up, press down with that big toe. You wanna use that big toe, use your toes as much as you can. And then come down, so you don't get, the better you get, the more hard you can go, all right? So you're gonna do another set of 20. You're gonna contract, all the way up, and then come down, heels down. Come up, and then come down. You can do a set of 20 of this, okay? Down, or up, and then come down. And then after, kind of got, got that going, I like to do the Patrick step. Patrick step is basically, we want to strengthen our quads, we want to strengthen the position, all right, of our knee over our toes, because our knee over our toes happens a lot in cycling and running and walking. Okay, squatting. But if you're always complaining about knee pain or pains like feel creaky or stiff, we're not, you gotta work this position. It's a very simple way to do it. They call this the Patrick step. Don't ask me if I ask you that. They just call it, that's the name, so I'm gonna go with it. All right, so we use this leg as kind of a, a unit of measure. So if you're just starting, all right, you see, notice I put my leg out just a little bit and I just keep my foot flat and I just, I squat. When I step right here, knee is going to be over the toe, and then come up. It's just like walking. It's just like running. All right? But just like this. We don't really focus on strengthening this position. You can do it. Like a set of 20 is also preferred. And when you're just starting, right here is fine. But we want to progress to get our leg out, and then we're squatting more with our knee over our toe. And you're basically going into a pistol spot, which... It's not gonna be part of this video. You're, this is for beginners only. But yeah, just right here, set of 20, use a wall. Just like this, good tempo. Don't be, don't be doing that, okay? Good, focus on it, hands on your hip. All right, stand right here. Two, three, four, and that is a set of 20. Give it a try, do it. 
Every other day, do it before a leg day or after a good run. This is gonna help strengthen your legs and help improve the durability and the strength of your knees and possibly your ankles too. Uh, but this is Coach Austin with Hyper Strength and Conditioning here in San Jose, California. Hope this helps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the things. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.